Here's a fun project I built the other day, and it's a laser diode perimeter alarm, kind of like the, the thing you see at the, on the movies in the bank heists and that sort of thing. And it basically starts off with a $1 laser pointer from the dollar store, of course. And um, I chopped the laser out of there and stuck it right here, that little thing right there. And um, I attached a few wires, obviously, to it. And the laser, of course, runs from here, goes to that mirror, goes to that mirror, goes over to that mirror right there, and then goes back into a little photodiode right there and back into my project board right down here. And this project board has a PIC microcontroller. I believe it's a 1612 and actually a 12F 1612, as well as there's, um, oh, there's a big, big capacitor on there trying to filter out the, the noise and um, four batteries and a switch and a resistor. I tried to make it as few parts as possible, so there's only a handful of parts right there. What you'll notice though, is I've covered up this here um, buzzer with a little sticker. And it came with this, with the buzzer, but it's so loud. It's actually an 85 decibel buzzer. And the reason why I chose this, chose this chip is because it can drive up to 100 milliamps on five volts. Uh, and I thought I'd test that. So the, uh, the laser pointer is about 40 milliamps and that little buzzer is like 70 milliamps. So I've attached them onto this and it actually works quite well with this little tiny microcontroller. Um, yeah, so the way this works is I've actually, um, with the microcontroller, pulsed this laser. So it's actually running through um, maybe 16 pulses a second and each pulse is really small, maybe a half a, a millisecond. And the photodiode, of course, picks it up at the other end and I read it. And um, so the pulses are pretty tight and it allows the batteries to last much longer. They will last a year, actually, if it's run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, just monitoring or, or checking an area. So that's kind of interesting to know you get that much life out of a laser pointer and a set of batteries. So what else am I gonna show you here? Um, yeah, it's actually armed right now. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, what I did is I set up my laser so that it would not uh, trigger the alarm if only one pulse was interrupted. So if you interrupt two pulses in a row, then it will sound. So obviously if a fly or a leaf or some dust or something weird, pass through, then it would trigger, um, it would not trigger it. But if you move slow enough and you create a one eighth of, an, of a second interruption, the alarm will sound. And that's what I just did right there. Actually, I've actually uh, moved these things apart far enough to check that it would actually do up to about a 400 square foot area with this $1 laser, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, and here I do have a schematic of what I did. So I actually built this device to do a few things. Um, you can set it up in a different mode. So when it's turned on, I'm going to just shift this a little bit off and it can be set up right now. Right now it's pulsing much slower and it allows for an easier setup and it won't arm the a laser yet or the, uh, the alarm system yet. So it, I've uh, deliberately shifted it so it would um, allow for a setup sequence. And um, yeah, but anyhow, I'll show you how this works briefly. Um, I will just uh, show you the schematic. And as you can see, there is a very simple schematic. Um, there's the PIC processor, the buzzer, What's that? The laser, <laughs> uh, the photodiode, a thousand microfarad capacitor, and maybe a 30 kilo, kilo ohm resistor. Kilo ohm, K ohm. What is it? Um, and what else? Oh yeah. So um, yeah, it'll last for a year on batteries running all day and all night, just because I pulse the laser so quickly, and. Here, I'll see if I can turn this over. Not that you can see much. It's not that interesting. It's pretty boring right there. So that's the project right there. Actually, it's running right now, just in setup mode. Um, 
as you can see the little tiny IC that the microcontroller there and the little buzzer there and a capacitor there and a resistor not a lot of parts and of course a little switch just so I can turn my project on and off and of course the laser right there and there's the photodiode just over here I put it a little um, shrink tube on it so it would control the light better and what I did with this particular project is I made it so that the light from an outside source could not trigger this right here like you couldn't shine a flashlight into here and allow somebody to walk through or something like that because if there's a you know, there's obviously a dark spots between the pulses right when you, you send a signal and you have it on for a brief moment in time and you turn it off I would monitor this photodiode and if I saw light coming in when it should be not there I would trigger the alarm as well in the software that is as well um, what else did I do uh, I think that's about it like I said it's 62 bytes of code super super simple and I'll show you what the code looks like if you feel like building something like this you can change it if you want the alarm only goes on for a minute instead of going on for you know hours and hours and hours but yeah I can control that quite easily uh, this is the code I have right here um, 62 bytes is that right it starts from about here on line 9 it goes all the way down to um, there. I guess that's a, uh, no, a bit more. <laughs> From nine to, that's yeah, 62 bytes of code. Obviously the green stuff is all remarks. And um, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, not much more to say about it. It's just uh, a project I did the other day. So take care.